we are kind of a unique shop. We were a very small boutique operation, but we work with some of the largest law firms in the country. As a matter of fact, uh, right now we're working on some of the biggest cases, uh, both civil and criminal, because the quality of our work uh, is both respected and uh, been proven effective by the clients that we've worked with. We're particularly impressed with the solutions that we have with our Leica hardware and software because it's a complete environment and it's hard to describe one without the other because they're designed together and they work together. And I come from a long background of 30 years of working in geospatial forensic recreations uh, and we've used everything from the old days of total stations and hand measurements photogrammetry uh, to now where we have the advanced use of sophisticated point clouds. And in the past, you kind of cobble together solutions, but what's really been amazing for us in terms of our workflow is that we have optimized hardware platforms that work with the software solutions. If I can give you an example, the uh, RTC 360 scanner works with a field package that we currently use on our smartphone, although we could also use it with a tablet, but we like the smartphone, smartphone because it's so portable. And it allows me to not only see the extent of my scanning, but I can pre-register with each scan that I take. We, uh, we did a project with a, a large uh, wreckage of a, of a dive boat disaster out in California. And this is, uh, all of the wreckage has been assembled, recreated on a, a naval base. And we finally, we were allowed in to document this. So we have one shot. And this is a very large uh, reconstructed boat. So for us to be able to get this done accurately and done quickly and efficiently, it was critical that we be able to scan with dense point clouds in a quick uh, fashion. Because if I only have four hours to do something, it's gonna make a huge difference if I'm able to get 40 scans as opposed to 10 scans. And it's literally that big of a difference. Uh, with the RTC 360 that we're using now, I get a really high quality dense point cloud with HDRI imagery and my scan is always completed in less than two minutes. To be able to get that much data, that complete, and then to reposition the scanner and look on my phone and see where I am, uh, not only do I avoid gaps in my data, I don't have to overscan, which was always a problem with uh, some of the uh, hardware that we used in the past, because you can't afford not to get the data that means that you're always over scanning to be sure that you don't get back to the office and you have a gap in your data. Well, with the, with the workflow we have now, we see exactly what we're capturing, how much overlap we have, and our point density. And we get it done quickly. So that means I can position the scanner in six different locations in the same time that I would get two scan stations with my uh, prior hardware. And that's just amazing for us because what we're looking for is a complete set of data that we can then convert into a three-dimensional mesh object that we can generate realistic reconstructions and, and imagery with. So with a high density point cloud with high quality HDRI imagery, we're getting full color, complete coverage. And in this particular instance, we have the wreckage of this boat so completely documented that our engineers are able to take sections of our point cloud and study the components and reassemble them as though they were there in real time. And it's, uh, it's fascinating. So we've got naval architects, naval engineers, uh, battery experts, none of whom have gone to the scene themselves, but we've brought the scene to them because we have been able to document carefully and accurately in 360 degrees the point cloud that has the wreckage. So with the approach that we're using, we find that um, what makes a huge difference to us is that we have to have accuracy 
over the complete field that we're scanning. Because not only is it critical for us to be able to build accurately, but we're going to be presenting this in court. Anytime we present evidence in court, we know there will be an attorney and expert witnesses on the opposite side who will be looking for anything to discredit the work we've done. So it's the ultimate quality control. Uh, it doesn't, it's not only that it has to be good for me, but it has to be airtight to withstand the challenges that we have in the courtroom. And this is, this is huge, and people don't generally understand that, and that's one of the things that makes the ecosystem we work with now so bulletproof. Everything is tuned together. Register 360 will spit out a complete report that documents the level of registration, the number of scan stations used, the uh, uh, polygon dense or the uh, point density, as well as the imagery that is associated with the scans. And so that report alone will stand and will be introduced into court to support the admission and the accuracy of the underlying scan data. And that I can legitimately present under oath to the court, this is the specified data, this is my registration accuracy, and it will be accepted in court, and it will go into evidence. The solution we use for most of our registration and post work is the Register 360, which is a software package that is very, very intuitive and is, uh, doesn't require that much of a learning curve to be able to put together and register field work uh, whoever is uh, putting it, whoever is shooting it in the field for you. Once we have the data in Register 360, I personally supervise and work with that data and what I particularly appreciate are the tools that allow me to clean that data quickly so that I have a complete uh, cropped and cleaned point cloud that's usable from day one to build our high resolution uh, models that we present for court in our immersive exhibits. The, the way that Register 360 works is much quicker than any of the solutions that we've used in the past. And one of my favorite tools, I can click on any flat surface and the software will use an algorithm to isolate every point that matches that planar surface. So that means I can have a freeway and in less than 20 seconds, I can completely clean the surface of the freeway. And given that we do a lot of transportation cases, this is huge for us. Because if we scan a freeway, very rarely do we find ourselves in a situation where we can stop traffic. So that means we're gonna get a lot of stray cloud uh, noise from passing vehicles that the scanner picks up. Or if we're in a urban area, we'll have pedestrians that are unavoidably in our scans. We can clean that in 20 seconds by just clicking on a planar surface. And uh, for transportation work, it's, uh, it's unlike anything that I've ever worked with before. It's just fantastic. We find that the architecture of the, the software solutions that we're working with allow us to transmit data easily and work within a variety of 3D solutions. We have modelers that work in completely different 3D environments uh, because often we will be hiring freelancers for a job or we'll work with a, uh, a particular artist who his or her preferred application may be completely different to my chosen uh, software platform. But the beauty of Register 360 is that it's agnostic. It will export any format, E57s, PTS, LAS, any point cloud format that is commonly worked with, I can export and I can keep that data uh, integrity completely across our platforms. For the first time in my experience, we have a scanner that's not only reasonably priced, but it operates at a fraction of the time that we would require with our old unit and the quality of the data, the density of the point cloud and the associated HDRI imagery is just uh, far and away out of the same league. So I can comfortably go into any environment and know that what we produce will be both accurate and it will be complete and we can do it in half the time that we could before.